Real men play blades. Folks, it's Joe Ditzel back in the studio, and I have to tell you this crazy story that happened to me in Los Angeles a few years ago at the Studio City Golf Range. Now, Studio City is a section of Los Angeles. It's in the valley next to many movie studios. It's a small driving range, but it's very centrally located for much of the valley, and it gets a lot of studio staff, studio managers, and a lot of movie stars, believe it or not, go there to hit a few balls. For example, Samuel Jackson is often seen there, many other stars. It's in the middle of a residential neighborhood, and I stopped in there one day to hit some golf balls, and the guy next to me was playing blades. I had to ask him about that. I said, how do you like your blades? Now, what are blades? Blades are thin, knife-like irons that are used by better golfers. Now, in the old days, like in the 60s, all golf clubs wore blades. In the 70s and 80s, a company called Ping began to come out with perimeter-weighted game improvement irons, which are, with new technology, they were able to expand the face of the club, making it much easier for hackers like me to get a decent shot. Blades are harder to hit, but you get more control, hence their popularity with low handicap players, scratch golfers, and professionals. So when I asked this guy about playing blades, he was an older gentleman, and I was fascinated by it. I asked him about playing blades. He said, real men play blades, which just made me laugh. He explained it like this. He told me, all these game improvement clubs, hybrids, perimeter weighting, cavity backs, all of them are junk, he said. All of them are crap. <laughs> So basically, he means 90% of the clubs that have been produced since 1981, let's say. <laughs> he said, it's just the golf industry coming up with new ways to make money. And most people fall for it, he said, hook, line, and sinker. But I noticed he was wearing golf gloves on both hands to protect his hands from the vibration of the mishits. I said, doesn't that hurt like hell when you miss hit those blades? He said, miss hits? That's feedback. With those damn newer clubs like you got, you can't feel the damn ball. I noticed he was taking aspirin every 20 to 25 minutes to alleviate the pain he got from his feedback. I don't even think about it now, he said. It's a habit. Hey, some athletes take steroids. This is nothing, he said as he popped another two aspirin. He did have some pretty nice Ben Hogan irons that were made back in the day. He explained it like this. He said, these are Ben Hogan IPTs. That's the brand of the Ben Hogan irons I've had since I was 12 years old. My dad took me to Sears, Sears, for my birthday, and I've loved them ever since. Those were back in the days when people went to Sears. Dad hated those pinks. He called them shovel blades. <laughs> shovel blades. Now, he was explaining this to me in between shots that he was slicing over these giant fences that lined the driving range. The balls were sailing into neighbors' yards, right into their backyards. He's explaining to me all this as he's mishitting ball after ball. I said, um, they're a little hard to control, right? Again, he just laughed. He said, yeah, they're a little hard to control, but that's the idea. They're like a Ferrari. It's like driving a Ferrari. So I left him alone and went back to hitting my own balls and I noticed neighbors were coming out of their houses and throwing the balls back over the fence, launching the balls back over the fence directly at this guy. Their balls are bouncing at us, coming right at us. And they're yelling. They're yelling at the guy as they're throwing the ball straight at us. And he didn't notice at all. Folks, that's Real Men Play Blades. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope everything is going good in your world, and until next time, I'll see you then.